so this is a true incident uh, which really changed the way i look at life in a very profound manner it really changed the way i make excuses the way i work and it's it's a story of one of my students whose name is shweta and i'm going to share it with you today now as a teacher as an educator i uh, you you would always feel that we are the ones which teach everyone uh, everyone around us but uh, believe uh, me a lot of times in fact most of the times we educators learn a lot of the learn a big deal from what our students uh, do and uh, shweta was one of the students who uh, whose experience an experience of interviewing her ex an experience of getting her ready for an interview really changed uh, the way i look at life and i'm going to tell you her story today so uh, i uh, used to work in a lot of graduation schools in and around uh, north maharashtra region and i would go to these schools and i would uh, do interview trainings for a lot of students now generally the graduation schools would call um, us uh, trainers in at a time when you have some kind of uh, interview scheduled in a near future and this was one of such uh, excursions and i was uh, i had gone to a very rural place near nasik in the midst of this uh, uh, whole of this thing i i kept on interviewing the students and interview after interview student after student it's the same story the same resume the same english the same resume the same english and then then this girl um, called as shweta uh, this girl who's been shweta she walks into the uh, interview room she asks me so can i take a seat i say yes and she sits and starts giving her interview and very surprisingly very surprisingly she is much better in english as compared to everyone else so she gives a very good interview she uh, she talks very well in english she she talks confidently uh, not not extremely confidently but confident enough to uh, face the interview and talk to me right in the eyes and uh, she 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 does uh, all of these things her her resume is the same but uh, but on the interview part she really uh, does well now there are two things which i observe about shweta and two obvi- uh, 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 two things which i observe one thing is her english is good but the second thing when i take a look at her resume uh it reads that in her 10th standard her percentile was 88 or 87 in her 12th uh, no it was a diploma so uh, in her first year second year and now in third year in her first year her percentage was again uh, in some 80s and she was one of the toppers in her second year in her second year her percentage was 51 or 52 percentage and in the third year uh, in the first sem her again percentage was something around uh, something in 80s so uh, two obvious questions uh, that that went on to shweta once my interview was done first was uh, shweta uh, how is your english good how is your english good right Uh, how come uh, uh, when i compare it with everyone in the class how is it that your english is good and the second one is why uh, this drop in percentage i mean you you seem to be someone who's very good in academics so why this drop in percentage now uh, when i asked her the first question why is your english uh, how how come is your english good uh, she she very quickly took out uh, took out the book of uh, Uh, a dictionary a marathi to english dictionary and a brennan martin book from her uh, bag and she showed it to me it, it was a book which has which had almost torn out a book which uh, had pages which were coming out but were properly stacked in and one part of the book was uh, like the uh, the part from where we uh, turn the pages that part was almost uh, worn out to a huge huge extent so these two worn out books uh, she she takes them out and she says uh, sir i have been following these two books and i was really passionate about learning english i i wanted to learn english so that i could get good career opportunities from my school <laughs> that is the reason why my english is kind of a little better than everyone else um in the class she says sir uh, please don't uh, please don't judge my classmates because uh, in in our schools 
uh, going in at 8th and 9th standard we are taught ABCD and it is very common for uh, you to go in 10th standard and then students struggling with uh, English even basic English over there she says that she developed her English by doing this by uh, reading some uh, English newspapers every English newspaper that she could get a hand upon and also at times listening to English radio news uh, so that she could get some good pronunciations and um, start understanding what English was so all India uh, radio broadcasts English news right so so she she would listen to those news and that is how she built up on her English and, and that was that was very inspiring because uh, not a lot of students had done that I said wow Shweta good great wow fantastic but then the second question Shweta uh, why is there a drop in the percentage for your second year of diploma and when I asked her that question uh, she could not speak for about 10 odd seconds there was uh, there was pin drop silence in the classroom I was anticipating some kind of answer but it was almost as if she she, she could not speak up she, it, it was almost as if uh, I had asked her something uh, which uh, which touched her uh, touched her in some way but uh, being a brave girl which she was she overcame this and she pointed outside uh, uh, outside of the window there was a girl standing with a kid in her uh, kid in her arms and Shweta said sir uh, that kid over there that boy is my son and in my second year of diploma I was married and uh, the place where I went into um, I, I could not study I could not study so uh, I was married and then uh, my son was born so uh, in, in all of that time I could not uh, focus on my studies which is the reason why uh, the percentage dropped basically it must have been difficult for her because she really struggled to get the words out I went on and asked her about her family it seemed like uh, her husband uh, ran some kind of garage shop uh, 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 small garage shop in the village and um, a, a typical uh, typical uh, family which you would kind of otherwise think uh, of in, in a village right so it, it, it's still when I when I when I think of the story it still uh, gives me shivers when 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 I when I remember her talking in front of me but yes uh, this is what she told uh, this is what she told me and uh, she said that now things are better now she has been able to convince her family and she really looks forward to this job she really looks forward to uh, kind of kind of going ahead and cracking this nut out I was uh, this this was when Shweta spoke she spoken for about a few minutes and after that I could not speak but then of course I went on gradually gave her a lot of different tips I um, I sat with her for uh, some extended amount of time told her everything which she needed to know uh, so that she could do good in her interview everything that she needed to prepare so that she, uh, she could do good in her interview and then she went on uh, and, and then uh, we, we, we went, uh, went back to our places uh, uh, now the story of Shweta kept on uh, coming back in my mind again and again and again and it was three or four days down the line that these TCS interviews happened uh, and then Shweta got selected Shweta got selected with a monthly pay of something around 25 to 30 thousand rupees per month she was definitely out earning her husband and she was extremely happy when this thing happened I, I uh, uh, got a call from the college saying that sir this is the first time we have gotten students getting selected into TCS we are very happy uh, that something like this could something like this could have happened and when I asked about Shweta it, it she, her name was there in the list when I checked the list her name was there in the list so all of these uh, students like these students like Shweta there have been a lot of different students like Shweta I have taught uh, and these are the students when when you take a look at them uh, they really uh, they really tell you things which are important in your life and they give you this new perspective to life 
now i was very moved from that point on i i i thought okay with all the resources in the world with everything that we have uh, we have access to when when we are born in a kind of a good family in a city uh, environment uh, what is it that we achieve and what what it might have taken for people like shweta who really put in their blood and sweat and keep on working hard maybe with very little rewards facing challenges i mean think of it i i uh, how many of us need to go through a rough marriage how many of us uh, need to go through a family which says no to studies uh, no to a career path how many of us need to raise a child and then do our studies along with uh, doing all of those things very rarely right but then there are people like uh, shweta who do this and uh, that is something uh, that that is the reason why i said this was one of the instances which really changed my life i went in there as a teacher but i came out there learning a lot of lot of life lessons uh, learning things which are going to stay with me for the entire life now this is a story which i share with share in some of my classes which i take uh, never made it out in public never made it out on the internet till now um, but yes i thought this is the right time to probably get it out so do tell me um, what are the resources which you have do tell me what is your excuse what is your excuse do you have a child which you have to uh, bear uh, when when i ask you ki acha why what is the skill that you need to learn you know the skills which you need to learn but then you also have a hundred excuses ready which are very new tell this is the these are the reasons why you could not learn that skill um, we a lot of us have uh, a uh, a lot of us have rough histories wherein we are able to pinpoint ki acha my school was not great which is the reason why my english is not good my school and my uh, college exposure was not great which is the why uh, which is the reason why i don't have good technical knowledge but but you really have a lot of resources are you making good utilization of all the resources that you have is the question that i want to ask you today do tell me uh, the answer to this question if you have any and to tell me how you found this story to be to tell me uh, the other topics you want me to make videos upon this was of course one of the videos in our be productive series where we make one video every day to help you guys to be better versions of yourself to help you guys to be more productive i hope uh, that the story of shweta teaches you a lot of things I hope it allows you to have some kind of perspective in life. I hope it allows you to come out of giving excuses and start working on your goals, start working on your dreams, start working on your aspirations. So that was me Ajinkya and I'm going to sign off with that. I'm again going to see you tomorrow. Till then, tata, bye bye, sayonara.